these trees are trying to play whack-a-mole with my head. Welcome back, everybody. Day Chris. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are gonna go collect uh, resources from several drills that I have set up. Uh, we're gonna get some more points spent and uh, do an upgrade on the farm, and then we'll see where we are after that. Okay, so um, I've spent quite a bit of time off camera and I'm working on stuff, and I have uh, placed more drills down. Uh, so I have a gold drill over here. There's another gold deposit right over here, too, by my um, my pod, uh, which we could tap into later if I decide we need to do that. We have our copper over in this area. And then I have set up on the map... Uh, we did the iron drill in the last episode. And I've also set up a silicon uh, right here and set up another water uh, water wheel to run power to that. And then over here we have a sulfur node. Uh, no, I think it's actually more over this place. And again, I, I, I ran a water wheel and then I ran a cable over there. So <clears throat> all of those are powered uh, with water power. Um, this one over here, I, I had to use that other solar panel because there's no flowing water uh, close by. Uh, so we're going to go collect from those because I've been letting them run for a bit and we should have a nice tidy little bit of resources uh, to get from those. Uh, before we do that though, let's go ahead and I'm going to put uh, this in here. Oh, I've made some I've made some upgrades to the base too. Uh, basically, I have run water uh, to the stove and to the kitchen bench and we have a, a permanent line to the masonry bench and then upstairs I've run water to the um, cement mixer. I don't have water on the glass working bench because uh, it's it's more than the single pump can handle. So one of the another thing I think I'm going to do is we're going to set up another water pump, uh, probably over here, somewhere. And um, I wonder if we could even probably wouldn't be able to run it off of those two jetties. I'm not sure. We'd have to see what our power is. Uh, but anyway, um, set it up over here so that way. Um, in fact, we're going to need to do that for sure, not the more I think about it, because we're going to expand the farm, and, we're, and that's going to take even more water. Uh, okay, so anyway, while we're waiting for this storm that just came in to go, to go by, uh, let's go to the tech tree. I have accumulated nine points, so we're going to jump over to tier four, and we're going to grab some things over here. Um, now, I want... Um, I, I think I want to get these items here just to up our, you know, our food thing. And I'm starting to change my mind about the electric masonry bench. Um, you know, now that we have to make... Can we... Can we make concrete pieces in here, though? A powered bench for heavy stonework and carving. Hmm, I'll, I'm gonna have to investigate that. Because if we can't, then then I, I don't want to I don't want to spend points on that. At least not right now. I mean, eventually we'll probably have enough points for everything. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I have to think about that. And even this, I mean, these are very low priority to me. But there's still things we could eventually get because eventually we're going to have more points than we can spend. So why not, right? Uh, so let's let's put those on hold. So the kitchen stuff I'm definitely interested in. <coughs> um, I have I've been having to do a lot more repairing. You know, with the uh, with the storms and stuff, though. You know, once we upgrade everything that needs to be upgraded to concrete, that'll kind of become less and less. But I think I'm going to learn the titanium hammer, anyways, because why not? Uh, we have plenty of titanium, so let's just graduate from a wood hammer all the way to a titanium hammer. Okay, so let's go to tier three. Oh, I want to get these. Uh, I want to get the iron cover, so that's going to cost us three points, uh, but that's going to give us the most storage. Fishing trap isn't ready yet. Okay, so that's fine. We, if we got the thermos, we could do... Hmm. Can we make coffee in this that keeps us warm? In the, You know, when we go into the Arctic biome? I'm not sure. Now, I was thinking about... Just kind of looking, looking through here. I was thinking about the um, 
possibly the incendiary rifle round. That's the hunter armor. And yeah, we have some more concrete pieces too. Uh, I probably would like to eventually get those, but not necessarily right at the moment. A concrete railing would be good to have though, because um, that could probably stand up to the weather pretty well. But why don't we actually learn that right now? Okay, not sure. Is there anything in tier two that I want? Just taking a quick look. I mean, we could get these other, you know, medicines. Oh, oh yeah, we wanted to get the, the questing thing when I think that's actually in tier one. Okay, where is that? That's the radio something or other. Uh, maybe we can't get that in tier one. That is probably tier two, okay. Uh, here we go, short range radio and orbital exchange interface. So we'll learn those two things um, because that'll allow us to start doing quests. And I think, so we have two points left. Let's get the wooden bed because we get a better sleeping buff from it. So we'll get that and then, um, let's go back to tier four for a second. Yeah, why don't we learn this, because that'll then unlock the electric stove for us. Okay, and then that spends all of our points. Good. And the storm is now... Oh, that gauge must be messed up, because it sounds like it's over. Yeah, the gauge must be messed up. Okay, cool. So we got the points taken care of. That's good. That's good. Um, So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to update you guys on. Uh, what I want to... What I'm gunning for next in terms of, of machinery is I want to make the electric composter, but we need a, a hundred concrete mix and 60 steel. So I'm going to, you know, uh, have to do a little more grinding for that. Now maybe, uh, oh, by the way, let's make our titanium hammer right now. What is that? Okay. Yeah, we can afford all that. There we go. We have ourselves a titanium hammer. Yay us. Um, anyway, we were talking, so I was talking about the electric composter. Wait a minute composter that's the biofuel thing right yeah I, I was confusing for the for this composter I want to make that you know to to increase our biofuel supply oh I did hook up uh, water to this though too so that does increase its ability to um, you know to compost stuff but we won't have to well you know once it's electric I'm assuming we won't have to use fuel well, actually, I'm not sure how that will work. Maybe it will still require these same recipes, but it'll just be a lot faster, perhaps. We'll find that out when the time comes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to do a bit of grinding to afford this. I also want to do the chemistry bench, um, and that's going to require some uh, a little bit of grinding, too, because once we make this, then we can start making that better fertilizer, which will work in conjunction with... Our farm expansion. Speaking of which, that's what we actually need to look at. Uh, we want to make uh, the iron crop plots, and yeah, we're going to need iron for that. So, okay, well, I think we're ready then to to head out and go um, gra gather up all the resources that our drills have currently made. Um, so let's see, we're in pretty good shape on food. Uh, so, I c if I take Liberty Mutual. We'll go a lot faster, but we won't be able to haul stuff. So I'm thinking maybe we'll take the buffalo with the trailer. Uh, not the trailer, the, the wagon thingy. The cart. Wagon cart, you know, that thingy. Uh, we I have two buffaloes, as you can see, and two birds. Um, they were just targets of opportunity, I guess. <laughs> they were babies that were just near the base out in the boonies, and so I just grabbed them. Um, that way we have backups, you know, if... Uh, if the unfortunate thing happens. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that this should be like Buddy 5 or 6.0. <laughs> I've actually lost track of, of how many times they've succumbed, but it is what it is. So we'll just keep this one named 3.0 for now. Um, all right, well, let's just leave those guys there. We'll go grab the cart. It's gonna take us a lot longer, but we'll be able to bring a heck of a lot more resources back too. Wait. You, all three of you are out. You naughty animals. Okay. 
Everybody follow me. I left the backup animals with just the name that the game gives them. And you don't follow me. So I can lead the rest of these dudes back in here. And then if they're if the if the current ones bite the dust, then we'll rename them with the new version number. Okay, so everybody's in here now. Everybody unfollow. I wish that we had a, a whistle whistle commands like you do in Ark Survival Evolved to tell everybody to follow or everybody not to follow. Actually, the whistle to tell everybody to follow is <laughs> problematic. Right, if you've ever played Ark Survival Evolve and you had a few dinosaurs and you hit that button, yeah, it's uh, gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. Okay, you follow us now, and let's go get some resources. So we're gonna go. To the ones, um, to what the heck? A bear in my front yard. In fact, uh, a jaguar spawned inside of the animal pen, uh, too, off camera. So, yeah, that was fun. <clears throat> you guys had mentioned to me, too, that I what I could do is, is put foundations down. Uh, for the animal pain and then spawns won't happen and I think that is definitely a good idea and something we will get to at some point. Oh, you know what? We better let Buddy back in here while I go put this stuff away. Alright, just wait there, buddy. I think I'm just going to turn all the meat into extra meat for that. Um, I'm going to chuck this because I have so much of it. Just gobs and gobs of it. We'll turn this into epoxy, or bone dust, that will then be turned into epoxy. And same thing with the leather. I know I can turn the leather into rope, and I have been turning into rope, but I've got so much of that, you guys, it's just ridiculous. Um, uh, let's turn, uh, yeah, let's turn you off. Okay. Since we're getting a little bit of a later start, I'm just going to top off my food here. And we'll turn all of this meat into more animal fat. All right, now I think we're ready to go. Okay, we are on our way here. And it sounds like there's a jaguar or something stuck in a downed tree. There's a wolf nearby, too. Oh, there he is. I'm kind of low on bullets until we can get some more. Um, ouch. Get out of my face. Until we can get some more um, iron to make some more. Hey, there's another level. Let's say give us three points, right? Okay. Now we'll look at those later. You coming, buddy? Just a normal storm. That's not a big deal. Also looking around for any crocodile doos. Hey, get out of here. I'm not even picking you up. I actually do need to go fishing though to make some more fish curry, but this is not the time to be doing that. There's my pod. <coughs> Excuse me. And then right over here is a, another gold deposit. And like I said, if, if I feel like there's a crocodile do right there. If I feel like we need it, um, we can put another drill on it later. I also know somewhere around here, there's a boss, like a, I think it's a wolf boss. And that's something we might uh, mess around with at some point. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that gold deposit's right here. 
Uh, but the reason I didn't put uh, put it on this one first, because I'm not exactly sure where that wolf boss spawns, so I didn't want to get too close to it. Um, and so I, I opted to go with the the uh, drill up here, or the deposit up here instead. Uh, and these two on the island, the only two gold deposits in the ring lake biome on uh, on my seed. All right, here we are. Um, I have the uh, the solar panel up there on the hill. I wanted to get it a little further away from the mountain because the sun kind of comes up and just kind of goes along that way. Um, and uh, I don't know if it actually ever dips behind this mountain or not, but I just wanted further back so it would get as much sun as possible. And it's still running. All right. Look at that. We have uh, two, over two and a half stacks of gold. Okay, that's not so bad. We'll take that. And we will let Buddy carry those. Okay. So next we're going to cross over to here. And that is where we will find our, our copper. Let's do it. These trees are trying to play whack-a-mole with my head. You know, I think there's a... I think there's a, another deep vein deposit on that little island. Let's go see what it is. Make sure there's no crocodile-doos around. Yeah. Oh, it's an iron deposit. Nice. Okay. So that gives us this one and the one in our original cave. If a... Uh, if I decide we need them, which I might, um, you know, at some point, even going into the desert to get iron is not going to work for us anymore. But right now, the desert is just jam-packed with iron in all the caves, so um, that's definitely still an option for us. I've already emptied this out once. In fact, I'd let it go for so long it was completely full the last time I emptied it out, which is a nice problem to have. Um, so we still have over three three stacks left, which is our, our new three. Three new stacks is what my brain is telling my mouth to say, but my mouth is like wanting to do its own thing. Okay, so that takes care of everything over here in terms of any uh, drills that I have down. Uh, so now we're going to work our way back towards the base. And, you know, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to pick up any um, silicon and oxide and sulfur nodes that we, that we come across. I was going to say, I thought I heard a jaguar. Because what we, since we have to go right back by the base anyways, we can drop up what we currently have. I didn't want to pick them up at first because I wasn't, you know, wasn't sure how much of a load we were going to have. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load up on oxide, sulfur, and silica. And then I'll meet you guys back at the base and then we'll go grab the other stuff uh, down south. I've showed this bug to you guys before, but it's irritated as all get out. Um, when I get close to the base, uh, my critter stops following me and heads for that corner. <laughs> I, I guess maybe they're trying to get to the trough or something, but he'll just sit over there and derp for a while until I go get him to follow me back, and it's just extremely irritating. So he's coming back this way now. So hopefully he stays with me and doesn't run off again. Yeah, I think he's going to be good this time. Nope, there he goes. What the hell? All right. Um, 
Close this door. It's such bullshit. Get away from those. Okay, stop following and now follow. Thinking about maybe removing those spikes. They are helpful, but they're also dangerous because the animals are so stupid they walk right into them. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to have a bit of a temporary problem here in, in that I don't know if I have enough room for all this stuff. Um, so, because I think this is just about GM full. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go over here first and turn all of these into extra meat. And we're running out of room in the fridge too. I'll tell you what, um, I obviously have to do a whole bunch of inventory management, so I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna sleep, bring you guys back in the morning, and then we'll go get the other resources. It is morning. And time for us to set out and head south and get our resources from the southern deposits. I um, also refreshed the garden last night before I slept. Got all the inventory taken care of. And um, what else did I do? Oh, and switched out all the biofuels. Well, we're in good shape. Sun's starting to come up over the mountain. This is our silica drill, and it looks like it just now shut down, probably because the water wheel is full. But look at that. We had almost five full stacks. Very nice. That was perfect timing, man. It shut down right when I was coming up to it. go he just disappeared I don't know okay that takes care of those let's move on up to the next one which will be a sulfur and then we'll swing back around to the iron one all right so I put a water wheel in here and ran a cable way over here. This Mo is going to attack me. Just get the drop on him. Probably didn't even need to bring Buddy, but what I'll do, like last time, is I'll kind of circle around and pick up all the silica, um, sulfur, and... And uh, uh, what's the other stuff? Oxide. <laughs> On the way back. That way we get a full load. The one thing I have a lot of at the moment is wood and stone. So I don't really want to get any more of that right now. Uh, but we will be making those new iron storage chests. And that will give us quite a bit more storage space than what we currently have. And so that'll be nice. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a Jaguar, that's what we got here. Why do I have a, a hand icon? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. beef below alone. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. Look at that. Four stacks. Very nice. And we are now heavy. So it was worthwhile to bring Buddy along. Because we still have to get the iron, too. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the hide and the leather. And we'll take the rest of that stuff. Okay, so now what we need to do is cross. There's also a coal deposit over that way. And up on that ridge there, there is an aluminum deposit. So we might be tapping into both of those at some point too. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to grab this coal node. We might as well. It's right here. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to work my way around the valley over to that other side and, and you know, get the, the oxide and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys over by the iron mine. Is not who I was aiming for. Sorry, baby buffalo, for mur murdering your mama there. Actually, it wasn't my fault. It was Auto Aim's fault. Okay, let's head on over here. We want to clear out the water wheel. And see how much iron we have. That's a pretty decent amount of iron. Nice. Okay. He still has a few more slots left, so that's good. All right, so we've made the rounds on all of our drills and came away with a pretty decent amount of resources. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back, back back to the base and I'll just keep getting the the oxides, silicas, and sulfurs along the way. And then when we get back to the base, I think probably the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of the iron storage containers to store all this, all these resources I'm bringing back. And then we'll start looking at um, upgrading the farm. So I'll see you guys back at the base. Okay, we are back at the base here. So I'm going to put that stuff in here. Let's get rid of that and this. And I want to grab the iron in particular out of his inventory. The rest of that stuff can stay in there for the moment. Well, actually, can I also grab all of the silica? Not all of it, but some of it. Okay. All right, you just stay put until I can get the rest of that stuff off you. Okay, is this where we make the iron storage? It looks like it is. So where is the big iron storage? It's right here. So we need 40 iron ingots. And we have tons of rope and a decent amount of epoxy. Okay. I'd like to hang on to some of the raw iron. Uh, we're, we're actually doing pretty good on, on composites, I think, for the moment. How many of those do I have? Yeah, I've got um, 51 of those. So we're doing okay on those for the moment. So I think what we'll do then, um, let's put two of these in here for steel bloom, and then the rest we're going to smelt. Uh, oh, I gotta turn the the Jenny on upstairs. I want to go upstairs to drop all the silica off, anyways. tree sap to continue making more concrete. Okay, so we'll worry about that later. Let's take put a couple of these in here. Um, oh, no. 
Those go right in the furnace for glass. That's right. I always forget that. Okay, we need to turn this on. And I want the iron to go first, and then I want these to turn into glass after that. There we go. Okay. In fact, we could even do the glass in here. Oh! Okay, let's grab a few of these out of here. Um, alright, so yeah, we gotta wait for these iron ingots to cook up so we can make the iron storages. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna get a few other things put away. Okay, there's our 40 iron ingots there. And I think we had everything else we need to make the first large iron cupboard. Nice. Okay, so... Next question is where are we going to put them? Um, I might... Swap this one out. It's just that... Where do I put all that other crap in the meantime? I think what I'll do with this first one is I'm going to actually put it here. And we might put another one in that corner too. And the existing ones I'm just going to leave where they are. I might eventually swap them out for iron ones, but for now we'll just go with this. Alright. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that gives us 50 slots. How many do these ones give? I don't remember. We get those in tier two, I think. Wooden storage, where is that at? That has 40 slots. Okay, so, so the iron has 10 more. All right, now let's get all the rest of this stuff out of here. Uh, we'll grab all of those first and put those in here. Uh, those, those things don't stack though. Um, so, I guess we'll put the excess in here. At some point, I'm probably going to stop collecting those um, just because they take up so much space. I don't know why the heck they don't stack. They should. But they don't. Okay, and now let's get all of the sulfur and oxide out of you. sulfur and oxide in there. I'm also going to take all the sulfur and oxide out of here because I'd like everything to be in one place. And let's actually take those back out. Maybe we'll put those in here. Sort that. Okay, that's extra stone that's eventually going to get turned into concrete. Come here, buddy. What do you have left? Just some coal and some silica. All right, good. Okay, let's grab... Uh, whoops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's grab about four more stacks of these out of there and put another stack of that to keep making the glass. And we'll put the extra coppers in here. these silicas in here. That glass can go in there. Oh, we got oxides in here too. Put those over here. Should have enough room. Yeah, that is a decent amount of oxide and sulfur. Don't mind my saying so. Okay, let's grab all this stone out of here. Take that up to the cement mixer. And make a crap ton more of that. Okay, good. So we're in good shape. We are in very good shape. Uh, we're still very low on iron, though, so I might go ahead and, and make another drill 
and solar panel um, and put that either in our original cave or on that island uh, up north by the ring lake that we saw. Uh, just so we have, you know, we double up on our iron production. So let's see, we're hungry. We'll have one of those, and we'll have one of those, and we'll have one of those, and we'll have some bacon. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is. You guys were telling me that if I put flooring down on those foundations, then I can put four crop plots on one foundation. Which means then we're going to need a whole bunch more iron to continue making more crop plots. I'm, I'm probably going to have to do another desert trip with with Buddy and just get a metric crap ton of iron to do all that, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, actually, I want to turn these into steel. So let's do that now. So iron is kind of our, our choke point right at the moment. But what I'm going to do, though, is let's grab all of these stone floors out of here. And we'll go out this way. Now, can I put these down without lifting up the crop plots? Nice. Look at that. Oh. Hmm. Is that going to... That's going to cause... Potentially cause issues with the piping, though, because I'm covering the piping... Okay, we might need to hold off on this until I have more crop plots made. There is a wolf. Oh, you know what? That just reminded me, too. I need to use some of this iron to make more bullets. Yeah, we're, we are just super low on iron. That's just all there is to it. stuff for now um let's see we have two uh two four six seven if we could make one more of these then we could get eight of them just on two foundations so let's go back into here you're not still following me are you no you're not Grab uh, these iron ingots. And what do we need to make one more? We just need some sulfur, uh, which I put all up in here. Oh, out of room. Uh, let's put just a couple of these back in here for now. Are you still making glass? Yeah, you are. I'm going to just chuck that char charcoal. I got charcoal coming out my ears, you guys. It's ridiculous. Um, and we'll put those two ingots back in there. Okay, let's make this crop plot. And then I think I'm going to use the rest of this iron to make more bullets. Uh, wait a second. Nope. Clear Q. I want to make these. It's faster. Yeah, it's okay. Oh shit. We still don't have room. There we go. I've been using a lot of meat lately for making biofuels just because I have so much of it. And, you know, we have, we have a ton of animal fat, so we don't, like, need to make a bunch more of that either. Oh. I need to get the pipe tool. For what we're about to do here. Let's see. Grab that. Alright, so. Um, 
Um. I'm just gonna pick it up. I don't. I know we're gonna lose some crops, but that's okay. Not a big deal. We got tons of crops in the fridge. In fact, to the point where I'm starting to think we might need another refrigerator here soon. We have um, one of those water wheels is providing power to the base, and I was thinking about maybe hooking that up to the fridge. The problem with that, though, is if it gets clogged up, um, that's going to be a problem because if we're not around, then the fridge stops. But, you know, likewise, though, if the fuel ran out, in the generator that we'd have the same problem so it's kind of six and one half does the other I suppose I don't know so pick all these up I have an idea well do I have an idea something occurred to me and then I'm I had second thoughts about it okay let's pick these back up and make ourselves even more heavy and we're going to have to clear all this piping. Now, we need to run one leg down to here. There you go. Because that's what's connected to the house at the moment. That's temporary, though, because like I said, we're going to have to put another water pump at the house. Now, let's put the flooring down. Okay. Now, one thing I'm thinking about actually doing here is um let's see I would need one two three four foundations I don't have any foundations all right I need some iron nails to make some I didn't look to see what kind of storm it is. Oh, it looks like it's just a rainstorm, so not a big deal. All right, let's grab some iron nails out of here. It's been a while since I've made stone stuff. Okay, I want to make four of these. Because what I want to do is I want to leave an aisle uh, down the middle and put the crop plots off to the side. this on this side, it doesn't really matter. Let's repair first, huh? Alright, well, worry about that later. Okay, now, let's put the rest of these down. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Good. Okay, now we should be able to put four of these on a foundation. This is great, man. This is going to like really consolidate space here. Because I, I want to get rid of those crop plots. Because I have to manually water those, and it's just time to to get away from that. Okay, and then we'll do four on this side. Oh, we need to close this. The Jenny, Jenny's taking a little damage. Yeah, man, whoever, whichever one of you guys told me about this, thank you very much. This is super useful. 
but you have to you have to have the floors in place to in order to do this okay now as far as the water goes how are we going to do this neatly you know what might be better is to run these along the side there one there and then we'll run one to that plot one to that plot one to that plot and one to this plot okay are they all watered Yes, they are. Okay, cool. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So let's grab another junction off of there. And we'll put it... Uh, let's just put it right there. And then we'll put one here. Bring it around the corner to here. Um, that's going to be a problem. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We'll worry about that later. I'm going to move this back where it was originally for now. All uh, right here. Then when we get this next set of crop plots in, we'll run the pipe there and then I'll cover it back up with the stairs. So for now, we're just gonna put this one right about there. Oops. Okay, looking good. Now let's go get some veggies to replant. All right, so we have eight plots. We uh, are making veggie pie and berry pie. So the berry pie requires watermelon, so we want to prioritize, we want to have two watermelon plots. Um, and then the veggie pie requires squash, soy, and corn. So I want two each of those. And then that leaves carrots and pumpkins. What I think I'm going to do in that case is... Well, I guess I'll keep using the old crop plots until I can get more of the new ones put in place. So, let's see. Two, four, six. Yeah, so that's going to use all of those up. So we'll just keep using those other plots too until I can get all of the iron ones built out. Okay, so corn there. Corn there. We'll put uh, soybeans there. This will be watermelon. And this will be squash. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. It's looking good, man. Looking good. Oh, here's another thing. When you guys told me in the comments that, uh, well, you thought, I don't know if, if you knew this for a fact, so if anybody does know this for a fact, let me know in the comments, new comments, but uh, you thought I might be able to use reinforced glass for a greenhouse, because it would be really cool to make this a greenhouse just for aesthetic purposes. So if I can indeed use reinforced glass and make a greenhouse that's impervious to the weather. Of course, I don't know how that's going to work with the new weather system. Uh, let me know. That'd be cool. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take Buddy back out into the desert and just get loaded up on as much iron as the as the dude can carry. Bring that back here. And um, I was going to do one other thing too. What was it? Can't remember now. But I'm going to do that off camera. And then my plan for the next episode. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do, I think, is put another drill on one of the iron deposits um, that are up to the north too. Uh, so I'll get that going. Uh, I'll keep working on this. As we get more iron, we'll make more iron plots, but the idea is to run these, you know, all the way down to here. And then, uh, but what I'd like to plan for the next episode, if it works out, is for us to head into the Arctic biome and see if we can make it to the the Great River Basin or this, you know, whatever that, you know, this main area is called here. But we also will have the goal as we move through the Arctic of... Uh, finding some mushrooms too so we can bring the mushrooms back for our garden so what did i do that for so that is the plan all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye. <music>